Today is a day we reflect, but those reflections on the past are also inspiring conversations about the future of Canada's military. CTV's Heather Butts explains. A new day, a new task for Private Charlotte Schnub. And new is a constant theme here. She worked on cars as a teenager, but only now in her 30s is making a career of it in the military. The teamwork, the camaraderie, the, yeah, the stability uh, that the military provides, it was kind of a no-brainer. The mother of five left her role as a medical assistant in a doctor's office for a career with the Canadian Armed Forces. I figured if I'm going to start somewhere and learn something brand new, uh, I'm going to do it in a career that I have no idea about. The training offered by the military is part of why she signed up. Private Schnub immigrated from the UK as a young child, but only received her citizenship a few years ago, then enlisted in 2022. Patriotism also a driving force behind her decision to be part of this next generation. I believe in this country. I believe in what, what we do here. Um, and as a vehicle tech, I am really excited to be able to provide support um, for, for the CAF in general. A motto that at one time had more people lining up to enlist. Now the military struggles to significantly increase its numbers, faced with challenges in recruitment and retention. The regular force is nearly 64,000. That's more than 7,000 short of what's authorized. Add to that the shortfall in reservists and the military is roughly 15,000 off its target. The Chief of Defence Staff is absolutely seized on this. She has uh, convened a working group. She meets with all the key players in recruiting attractions, training and retention. Um, it is probably the largest challenge facing us right now. There are challenges to the international rules-based order, uh, no matter where you look across the world right now. And it, it's a dangerous time. And I, I believe that the Canadian Air Forces are up to the task, but we need to be filled with people in order to really execute on those tasks. The Armed Forces has tried to modernize its recruitment process, evolving dress requirements and fostering more inclusiveness. At the same time, committing to overhauling the military culture and better the response to sexual misconduct allegations. Building back its force size is a priority as it seeks a wider audience of prospective members. This is for you. New recruitment ideas like the Naval Experience Program, a year of training with no strings attached, is showing success. The Navy recently toured communities throughout the Great Lakes to help people envision this career and lifestyle. It's a complex problem, so a multivariable uh, problem, if you will. Uh, we need people seeing themselves in the military. We need to do a much, much better job of attracting and recruiting them, so signing them up to the military. We need to do better at training them. Private Schnub already had the benefit of understanding a military lifestyle. Her husband has been a member for roughly 15 years. What do you feel when you put on the uniform? I'm super proud to wear this uniform. Yeah, super, super proud. I didn't realize the impact it was going to have on me. That pride helping to fill a crucial role as the military tries to build for the future. Heather Butts, CTV News, Toronto.